I would be happy. Everyone would be happy if they were remastered. You don't know how to do it. And it's something Bethesda have always done. They always double down on it. They always kind of insinuate that we should be enjoying the experience. Or, hey everyone, it's Old Man Banjo here coming to you today with both some bad news, or what I think is bad news, and some food poisoning. Now the food poisoning is for me because I ate from this grocery store in the UK that's currently had a bout of E. coli, and the bad news is for you, or at least I think it's bad news. So let's get into it. So a YouTuber that I respect and uh, apparently, according to YouTube analytics, that a lot of my viewers come from, Mr. Matty Place, recently did an interview with Todd Howard of, well, you know, Todd Howard. And one of his questions in that interview was whether the guys at Bethesda had considered remastering the Fallout games recently. That is, you know, the original Interplay 1 and 2. And, I, and I'm putting this video out there despite my uh, ill state to try and get a vibe from you, my viewers and subscribers, what you think about this. Because from my perspective, Todd's answer kind of annoyed me. So I'll, I'll play a little bit of the interview for you now. TV show, which clearly pull from the originals in a lot of ways. Have you ever considered like modernizing these in, in any way? Because you I know it's a little bit of a tougher get because, you know, this is such an old project, but whether it be on PC or consoles, has there ever been a consideration of modernizing them, making them more beginner friendly? Have you ever thought about that? Well, look, I, you know, I love the question and I agree with a lot everything, a lot of what you said. A main priority for us is to make sure they're available and you can still play them. So on the mm -hmm. PC, obviously they're there for people to go and get and play um, and making sure that, you know, they run okay. As far as sort of beyond that, We've talked about it, but, you know, our priorities in terms of, hey, let's go do dev work and, and make certain things work. Um, they haven't they haven't been in those areas. So, sure. again, priority is, hey, can people load it up and play it? And I do think we want, we want it to load up and run well. The rest of it, like I could argue, I think some of the charm of games, you know, from that area and the original fallouts is a little bit of that age, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. so my feeling from this interview was that I wasn't entirely convinced that this is a completely honest answer. Yes, if what Maddie meant was to completely remaster and change the original Fallout games into modern games, yeah, I wouldn't like that. But I didn't take his question to be like that. I think it was simply asking whether we would get a remastered of Fallout 1 and 2 into a similar style that we've now had Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition and Boulder's Gate 1 and 2. Those are other former Interplay titles. For those of you that don't know, Interplay was the company that owned both the Boulder's Gate rights and the Fallout rights. And then the Fallout rights were completely bought out by Bethesda and the Boulder's Gate rights were temporarily bought by Larian to make a single game from Wizards of the Coast. It's an IP nightmare. But anyways, I think that was what he was asking. Are we going to get a Fallout game that, 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 uh, are we going to get Fallout 1 and 2 in a way that they run like modern games? And, and Todd's response really bothered me because he says, as long as they run well, that's our primary goal. Well, heads up, um, the community posts on Fallout 1 and 2 on Steam are all about how to mod the game so they actually run well on modern systems. They do run, don't get me wrong, the Steam and GOG versions of Fallout 1 and 2 do run, but you definitely do want to mod them for a good experience. And for those old man CRPG purists like myself that might say in the chat, well, look, I like the old janky gameplay. Well, let me ask everyone here, would you guys rather play Boulder's Gate 1 and 2 using the six CD packs and all the jank that used to come along with playing the original Boulder's Gate 1 and 2 and Icewind Dale, or do you like the new Enhanced Editions? Well, almost everyone plays the new Enhanced Editions. Why? Because despite some kind of crappy introduced storytelling and other things, the Enhanced Editions just provide a better experience where you click the game, you set the resolution, and you play the game as opposed to having to mod it to match modern standards. In my experience of playing Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 on PC, they do not do very well. One of the reasons that I haven't made a lot of videos about Fallout 1 and 2 on this channel is I actually find them kind of awkward to play and record on a modern PC setup, especially with things like multi-monitors and screen capturing for videos. 
I also don't think that I'm the only one who thinks this. I'm pretty convinced that if Bethesda were to release a definitive edition Fallout original 1 and 2 and they were to put that on Steam, that would be a bestseller on Steam for a few weeks. It would be huge following the hype from recent CRPGs like Boulder's Gate and the Fallout TV show. As Maddie mentions in the interview, uh, Fallout 1 and 2 influenced very heavily uh, the very successful Amazon TV show that recently came out. I am completely convinced that if Bethesda were to remaster and re-release Fallout 1 and 2, it would be a massive, massive success for them. So why don't they? And here's the real reason. Now, Todd Howard, I like Todd Howard. Let's be honest. A lot of people love to hate on him on the internet, but he's also created a lot of powerful memories for people. He is a good game designer at times, but he has this way, especially in interviews and public speeches, of just saying things that rub people the wrong way. We all know it just works, right? And just like that, I think we also all kind of know why Bethesda are not remaking Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. And it's frankly because they can't. They don't know how. So this is just my take, and if you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But in my opinion, if you look at the history of Bethesda over the past, what's it, really 15 years, they work in the creation engine. Uh, they turn out new products using that engine that are basically mods upon their previous games. I mean, Starfield is basically just a mod on Skyrim. That's what people were really disappointed at. The graphics are better, but the core engine is really the same, and it's been the same since Morrowind, more or less. Nicer shaders, better graphics, but that's about it. You still got those same loading times, those same box zones, the same fast travel. That's what Bethesda do. And so given that, the idea that Bethesda can then take a code base from two games, which, by the way, they did not make, and dissect that code base remaster, work on those original titles, and then give us a remastered in the way that Beamdog gave us a remastered of uh, Boulder's Gate 1 and 2. Uh, Who would do that? Uh, it's not possible. They do not have the skill set. Now, in my opinion, they should be looking out for maybe a secondary studio that does have the actual software engineering skills to do that. Because in my, I'm sure I'm sure there are some great software engineers at Bethesda, but are they going to be devoted to this task? And I think that's part of what Todd is getting at. No, they're not going to be. It's a really, really hard task. But Todd Howard just does this thing that he always does of deflecting to this sort of like, Oh, yeah, we want people to experience it. I don't want to experience the original Fallout 2. I would rather play Boulder's Gate 1 and 2 Enhanced Edition over the originals. I hated swapping discs. I hate the low resolution count. I mod Fallout 1 and 2 when I play them. And he goes for a bit. Take a step back and say, okay, maybe we have some strengths. And they do have strengths. Don't get me wrong. Todd Howard is an amazing guy in many ways as a creative. I'm not saying that. I just wish modern day Bethesda could take a few steps back and say, these are the things we're good at. These are the things we're not good at and bring in some people that are. I really wish that if they found a good studio, somebody like Beamdog, a studio that really knows a lot about software engineering and decompiling old code bases and then reworking them to work better on modern, modern systems and bring them in. But they don't. Bethesda always continue to do what they've done before what they've done for the past 20 years and when you say hey um the engine for starfield uh feels a little bit out of date they t they tell you they just gaslight you and say, no, no no it's not that's like well why can't you do loading times the way every other modern game does loading times well because there's so much data and they've just they just they just gaslight the fan base and i love these games but it drives me mad I'm sorry for a bit of a ramp video, but yeah. So we're never going to get Fallout 1 and 2. And in my opinion, uh, sorry, we're never going to get Fallout 1 and 2 remastered. And in my opinion, it's going to be largely because of the ego of people at Bethesda. Um, let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section below. I am running a high fever and I'm a little bit dehydrated. But uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed to this channel over the past few weeks. Uh, it's always nice to have new faces, a lot of intelligent comments, and I've really enjoyed it. And I shall see you guys in the next video hopefully when I am feeling a little bit better. And until then, peace.